This video is brought to you by Vessi. Teen Titans Go, one of the most hated and controversial cartoons from the 2010s. And I mean it when I say hated. The contempt for this show was so off the charts that many people claimed that it would lead to the downfall of Cartoon Network and was a lightning rod for spite, especially from YouTubers. Look at their schedule right now. Teen Titans Go! is literally airing 159 times this week on Cartoon Network. Look at all this yellow. However, the show also feels like a big kick in the face. But then I remember what this show took away from me, and I get salty about it. To make matters worse, Teen Titans Go! even makes fun of the fact that Teen Titans was replaced. Who the hell was that guy? Sounded like a stupid robot jerk who probably never did anything significant with his life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, needless to say, Teen Titans Go! was one of the most hated shows on Cartoon Network. But it's been over 10 years since it was released. And now that the hate has somewhat died down, I have to ask, were we too hard on Teen Titans Go? Was it actually deserving of such unrelenting criticism? Hell, do we even give it a fair shot? Is this show more than surface level nonsensical humor? Well, folks, I am here to ask the hard questions, but I want to be fair. Originally, I thought Moral Oral was garbage back when I was a teen, but as an adult, I see it in a completely different light now. The passage of time and escaping an echo chamber can truly shift a person's perspective. So maybe, just maybe, Teen Titans Go! might actually have some artistic merit to it. Or not. Maybe it is as bad as I remember. But you want to know what's not bad? This video sponsor, Vessi. I've got like six pairs of Vessis. I'm not even joking. Like that's my main shoe now. I got like the boardwalks. I got the weekenders. Not the, not the show, the weekends. I, I got the storm burst. Folks, I got them all. I love these shoes. And I use them every single day. I use them when I go hiking. I use them when I go for walks from my neighborhood. I use them when I'm exercising in my little gym in the garage. I even use them when I went skydiving. If that's not a stellar recommendation, I don't know what is. They're comfortable. They're stylish. They're lightweight. I can slip them on and right off. And they're very breathable. Not to mention that Vessies are 100% waterproof. Oh no, are you holding a hose for some reason and the water gets in your shoe? Guess what? You're fine. You're dry. Look at those socks. Just as dry as my humor. Vessies are made from Dymatex, which is a dual... <laughs> Vessies are made from Dymatex, which is a dual climate knit material that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the colder weather. And hey, it's summertime. Get your Vessies on. It's, it's time, baby. Let's go outside and walk around. Is that what people do in the summer? So I highly recommend Vessies. They are my go-to shoes by the door, and I literally wear them every day. Check out the Vessi styles available at Vessi.com slash Saberspark, and use code Saberspark for 15% off your order. Don't wait too long to grab your favorite Vessi shoes. Go hit them up today. All right, on that note, let's take a closer look at Teen Titans Go, and if it was actually responsible for ruining Cartoon Network, climate change, and the destruction of America's middle class. Hey, probably. We wrap the world in a blanket and set off stink bombs, creating the biggest dodge of in ever. Teen Titans, an animated superhero series based on the DC comic of the same name. The original show was created by Glenn Murakami and ran for five seasons on Cartoon Network. I vividly remember when Teen Titans premiered in 2003, the very same year when I became a teenager. How appropriate. But I was instantly enamored by the series. Its designs, its tone, its action, its stories, its characters. And I'm pretty sure that my love for goth girls was awakened due to Raven, that one right there. Yep, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone on that one either. Uh, thanks, Brain. My gray matter in my head. Love how you do things for me without me asking. Ain't that just the way? The show would eventually be canceled in 2006, though the reason for said cancellation is still a bit unclear. Some say it was due to low ratings, while others say it was due to merchandise licensing. But the results are all the same. It was canned. And unceremoniously so, since the series never had a proper finale. It's weird, because if the series ended an episode earlier, that could have, in theory, been a somewhat decent finale, along with the Trouble in Tokyo special. But the series ended with an episode called Things Change 
which only raise questions instead of answering them. Now, if you wanna know more about that story, go check out this video of mine related to that topic. But for now, let's move on with the main topic of this video, Teen Titans Go. Five years following the cancellation of Teen Titans, a shorts program was launched on Cartoon Network called DC Nation. And it featured a variety of animated shorts, such as Plastic Man, Super Best Friends Forever, and something called New Teen Titans. This short featured a more chibi version of the original Titans, and had a sense of humor that would eventually pave the way for the show that would spring forth from it. Yeah, you know the one, Teen Titans Go! Out of all of the DC Nation shorts, the new Teen Titans was the most popular, and the show that came from it, Teen Titans Go!, would go on to dominate the network's programming up to this very day. Teen Titans Go! was developed by Michael Jelinek and Aaron Horvath, and featured the same voice cast from the original series. Currently, there are eight seasons of the show, with over 380 episodes, multiple specials, and even a theatrical movie. Needless to say, it is the workhorse of Cartoon Network, and it would eventually dominate the channel's programming. Teen Titans Go! was initially disliked by some viewers for its nonsensical tone that was perceived as LOL random humor. Lots of weird visuals, too, that made one wonder if said writers were trying to get at something and scratch your head. And maybe they previously worked on Totally Spies, but hey, that's just a thought and nothing more. Hopefully. I'm, uh, getting used to your legs. The show premiered in 2013 and had 9 to 11 minute long episode increments. No running narrative, just a slice of life absurd comedy. But as time went on during the mid 2010s, Teen Titans Go! became a lightning rod of hate. People despised how often it aired and how they could not escape it. Fans for other shows felt like their quality content was being overshadowed by the oversaturation of Teen Titans Go. Shows like Young Justice were replaced in favor of more time slots for Teen Titans Go. And this did not sit well with some viewers. Many even believed that this was the beginning of the shift from serious action cartoons towards comedy cartoons, since they performed better and were easier to make. A valid business decision from Cartoon Network, but fans of those shows were hurt nonetheless. No more badass fights or strong moral lessons and just a bunch of fart jokes instead? <laughs> he farted. Yeah, it felt like a major downgrade for Cartoon Hero fans. It was also a major blow to some fans when they gave them just a shred of hope after the release of the Teen Titans Go! movie, where in a mid-credits teaser scene, they showed a clip that to a lot of fans felt like a teaser for a final season of the old show. We think we found a way back. Same animation style and everything. Nothing really came from it though, except an original Teen Titans crossover, which wasn't what old fans were hoping for. The fans were pissed, and during the mid-2010s, the fountain of hatred for Teen Titans Go! flowed like a mighty river. Just YouTube video after video after video dunking on the show for its perceived low quality and its tone, its writing, its humor, and its animation. The better shows from Cartoon Network were suffering like OKKO, OK while Teen Titans Go! was destroying any opportunity for other cartoons to prove their worth and all the blame for the situation was squarely placed on the shoulders of the show itself and its staff. Public opinion on YouTube during the mid-2010s was very one-sided, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a dissenting opinion that defended Teen Titans Go. But there were some outside of YouTube that tried to provide some perspective. A perfect summation of why it had such a passionate response from fans and critics alike came from a 2018 Forbes article written by Scott Mendelson, who said, quote, Plenty of DC fans hate this show, and the awareness of said fan blowback is absolutely a part of the show's subtext at this point. In many ways, the series is itself an act of fandom trolling, including the fact that it features five would-be superheroes who do very little crime fighting and are frankly horrible people. Like CW's recent The Looney Tunes Show, where Daffy Duck was a Larry David-ish psychopath. This is akin to Curb Your Enthusiasm for Kids. <laughs> the fuck? Shut the fuck up! 
So basically, the hate was predicted and played on, which kind of makes sense. Any creator can tell you that it's impossible to please everyone, and Teen Titans Go! was making controversial moves and bold choices for the time. No matter what they did, they were going to be met with some kind of backlash from the opinionated masses, with sharp commentary ready to tear them apart. And that is exactly what happened. A 2013 SlantMagazine.com article by Lee Wang went so far as to say that, quote, where the humor is generic, so, alas, is the animation. Gone are Teen Titans' lovingly hand-drawn cells in favor of the bold line flash animation that has become the de facto Cartoon Network style. In comparison to the animation on Teen Titans, it comes off as flat. Likewise with the theme song. The original was a classic of 60s surf rock and spy-themed kitsch performed by Japanese duo Puffy Ami Yumi. But Teen Titans Go! lets Mixmaster Mike shear the shong of every distinguishing feature and calls the anonymized result a remix. And if not for the actors, whose talents can't save this lackluster material, Teen Titans Go! would offer little to even the most ardent Titans nostalgist and completist." End quote. <laughs> Wolf, I talk about a scalding review. However, despite these harsh but fair criticisms, the writer went on to say that they believe that, quote, the saving grace is that the voice cast returns intact. Amid the mundanity, they are by far the brightest aspect of the revived series and are as sharp as ever, end quote. And I agree with that sentiment. I think the actors really carried the show and absolutely deserve credit. However, there are more things that I think should have a spotlight shown on them to give us a full picture of this show and whether or not it was flamed too quickly. So now that we understand a bit more about what specifically made people upset at the time, I kind of want to go over some of the stuff that I think Teen Titans Go! had going for it. Sam Register, president of Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network Studios, said himself that, quote, the undeniable success of Teen Titans Go, with its signature blend of action and subversive superhero humor, is a testament to the phenomenal work of executive producer Pete McHale and the show team. Seven seasons, one theatrical feature film, multiple specials, celebrity cameos, and no end in sight. This show has carved out its own lane in the acclaimed legacy established by the original Teen Titans animated series." End quote. And you know what? Hey, props where they are deserved. What this team was able to accomplish was undeniably impressive. One massive strength for Teen Titans Go! was its crossovers. They even did one with Space Jam, which caught me off guard, but hey, it worked. Just the right amount of nostalgia and spin to take the old and mix it with the new. But they also did the same for new series as well. DC Superhero Girls by Lauren Faust, a show that also got its start with DC Nation, had its own Teen Titans Go! crossover and combined the slightly more serious tone of Superhero Girls with the chaotic sense of humor of Teen Titans Go! Hell, they even teamed up before the actual special, which the Titans even comment on. Like this legit got a big laugh out of me. And while your show plays fast and loose with internal logic, throws continuity out its window, and chooses poop jokes over actual story, their show maintains a coherent, cohesive narrative! Yeah, but how are their ratings? Meh. Honest to God, it is the meta tone of Teen Titans Go! and how openly transparent yet relaxed it is that brought me around on the series. And said tone really shined through during the crossovers. They had fun with them. And the show even got to work with higher caliber talent like Will Arnett, Kristen Bell, and Zack Snyder, to name a few. Again, where everyone was openly laughing at the DC Universe falling on its face, Teen Titans Go! was doing that years before everyone caught on with the joke. I thought everyone considered us an abomination. They do! Everybody hates us! Everyone except Wally Walls right here! A Teen Titans Go! fan, huh? Do you like the Teen Titans or the Teen Titans? <sighs> As I thought. They also consistently stepped up their game when it came to fun gags and bets. Because they had such an experienced cast that had years of chemistry built up between them, they could get away with seamlessly delivering commentary style episodes like The Fourth Wall, where the characters essentially reacted to the old show. They also had shorts where they would redub and air old episodes like Divide and Conquer on April Fool's Day. Those were great. I don't have any superpowers, but I'm gonna wrap you with a string. Just keep wrapping you. 
Round and round he goes. It's like a kite, guys. It was a comedy show first and foremost. And while it did not have the same dark, edgy grit of the old show, it was undeniably successful at making children laugh and hell, even adults. Because as serious as DC often is, especially during the time of the Zack Snyder stuff, it was cool to see a DC show that was just a straight up comedy. And guess what? If you stick around long enough, eventually a great joke would pop up that would give you a laugh. Now, one of the most important strengths about Teen Titans Go! and often gets overlooked is the durability and thick skin of the staff. Despite the hate, they were never deterred from having fun and instead leaned into it. By doing so, it relaxed people and made it easier for new fans to join in on the jokes and fun. They didn't seem like tryhards who were out of touch with the fan base. And despite the comments from some, most of them were actually fans of the original and quite a few of them had worked on it. The showrunners absolutely knew what they were doing, and I respect that they had a vision and committed to it. Surprisingly, the show ended up being more than just fart jokes, and actually had good writing that was just the right amount of self-aware. Yes, the characters came across as flanderized versions of their original selves, but Teen Titans Go! double down, triple down, and owned it, kind of birthing a new character in the process. And I respect that. I've never felt more emotionally complex. We should have gotten serious years ago. Finally, we are no longer disgraces. We are the team I always dreamed we could be. So now that leads us to the main question of the video. Were we too hard on Teen Titans Go? The answer is a very understandable yes. Allow me to explain. The arrival of Teen Titans Go! in the early 2010s was initially well received as just some silly experimental short. Harmless enough, right? But that would change. It would eventually become the main flagship of Cartoon Network. And there was this concern that the original Teen Titans series was being replaced by Teen Titans Go! That the original was robbed of a proper conclusion and that a perceived subpar meta comedy of said show took over to the nth degree that this lowbrow parody of the Teen Titans not only denied the original series of its closure, but was also dominating the programming of Cartoon Network, preventing other quality shows once more. Even Steven Bombs could not stand up against the overwhelming popularity of Teen Titans Go! And that was saying something. Again, I understand the reasons behind the hate, but as time went on, I began to ease up on the series. Let me tell you why. Point one. Programming. Cartoon Network struck gold with Teen Titans Go! and basically did the same thing that Nickelodeon did with Spongebob. Focus fire on the series that brings in the most views. More views means more money. And Cartoon Network is a business, so I understand why they made the decision to overwhelm their programming with Teen Titans Go! Steven Universe is, in my opinion, a better show. But it's admittedly hard to jump into a story-driven series if you missed an episode. But that is not the case for Teen Titans Go! Viewers can just drop in on an episode, laugh, and get on with their day, versus trying to piece together what they missed in a previous episode of Steven Universe. Now, I do wish that Cartoon Network would have provided more variety for their programming and given other shows more of a chance. But now that television is kind of on its way out, if not already kind of dead, I kind of feel like it's a moot point. Streaming changed the game, and everyone is still trying to figure it out. But I can say this. Blaming Teen Titans Go! for how often it aired is not fair to the show staff, since they have no say in the matter. That is solely the fault of Cartoon Network. Yes, it was frustrating. But we cannot blame Teen Titans Go for that. Point two, the cultural shift of superhero movies. It is no secret that superhero movies are starting to decline in popularity, or at least the ones that have a cookie cutter formula. Teen Titans Go arrived when folks were still hyped for the growing cinematic universes of Marvel and DC, even though that, you know, <laughs> DC stumbled in that approach. But hey, I guess it kind of did enough to stay afloat. Yeah, kind of. But in my opinion, as time has gone on, people are presently more critical of mainstream superhero movies and shows, and are now more on the same page with Teen Titans Go. Invincible is a show that does it differently. Spider-Verse does it differently. The Boys, they do it differently. 
And it just so happens that Teen Titans Go has been making fun of superheroes on a meta level for years. The show itself is a parody, after all, and it definitely has its inspired moments. It took a minute, but the audiences who were opposed to Teen Titans Go are now more in sync with the meta commentary and satire of the series. They get the jokes now. They can laugh with it because they eased up and the hate has subsided enough to give the series a fair chance. And that leads to my third and final point, the Teen Titans Go movie. Guess what? It was surprisingly good. A lot of folks walked out of it going, huh, I laughed at that. Maybe I was wrong about this series. Now, I'm not saying that everyone shared that opinion, but for me and many of my friends who never cared for the show, well, we were seeing the series in a new light and could recognize its merit, that perhaps we were being unfairly critical of the show and holding it to an impossible standard for reasons outside of its control. Now, am I saying that it was now our favorite movie or show? <laughs> no, absolutely not. But we could see the vitriolic hate we originally held and decided to ease up. The characters are fun. The meta commentary, especially about superhero franchises, was funny. And there was a genuine effort trying to demonstrate its worth to the audience. And I respect that. So overall, Teen Titans Go serves as an excellent case study of the power of nostalgia and how it truly is a double-edged sword. Mistakes were made that did not do any favors for Teen Titans Go. If the original series had a proper conclusion, I think fans would have had the closure to move on and potentially entertain this spin-off parody, but that never happened. Instead, said fans were embittered by the tonal whiplash of Teen Titans Go, that it was disrespectful to the source material, that it was obnoxiously shoved in our faces. And on top of that, the proper finale for Teen Titans might have been prevented due to the popularity of Teen Titans Go. Though, of course, that is just an allegation. There was also this notion of being replaced that many fans of the original were feeling, and I don't blame them for that. It was a jarring change that came across as insulting, but the blind hate for Teen Titans Go was so outrageous that any potential merit for the series was instantly dismissed by a considerable number of Teen Titan fans. But as the years have gone on, me and many others have come around and can now see the quality of the series, that it's smarter, funnier, and more caring than originally perceived. Now, is it groundbreaking cinematic art or one of the greats of Cartoon Network? No, <laughs> it's not, but it's far from being one of the worst cartoons either. Ultimately, it's just a fun series from a team that was able to roll with the punches and never take it personally. Because let me tell you, there are many artists and showrunners who would have gotten just as bitter as the critics of the show. But that never really happened for Teen Titans Go. It just pressed forward, had a laugh at it, and continued to have fun. And by doing so, it was able to come out years later with a new perspective for its once jaded viewers. Conviction, effort, and substance are the elements I look for when respecting a show. The original Teen Titans checked those boxes, and I'll be damned. Teen Titans Go pulled it off too. Took me a while to see it, but I finally did. And that's pretty cool. Now, I don't expect everyone to come around like me, nor to flat out love it, but it's nice to see it in a new light. But, uh, oh, oh no, now we have a predicament. What show can I blindly hate now? Hmm, hey, oh, oh. yeah, that one. Yeah, I don't see my opinion ever changing for this show. And if it does, uh, just delete me out of existence.